Tonight, we're pleased to honor a first-time Gold Glove Award winner, Jose Barrios. And collecting his fourth Gold Glove Award, patrolling our outfield, the outlaw, Kevin Giermeyer. I think Kevin Gosman's going to be good tonight. He's also a Colorado native as he faces the Rockies. Kevin Gosman on the mound. In his last start, his fastball and general velocity was down. His feel for his pitches did just not look the same. In his last side session after that start, he threw very well. So I expect him to be good tonight against Colorado. And he sends a high fly ball to left. Varsho is going back and on the warning track. He's got room for the first out of the ball game. And this fastball is hit in the air to center, backpedaling Kiermeyer. And it's another deep fly ball out, but there are two down here at the top of the first. 2 2, swing and a miss. Dialed up the fastball to 95, put it by Bryant for a 1 2 3, top of the first. No score, bottom of the first inning. The Rockies, Ryan Feltner on the bump for the third time this year. And he is really good at keeping the ball on the ground. And he went. And that is a beautiful way to start for Feltner. Very crisp coming out, starts it off with the slider. Springer, while he typically does not chase, he did there, couldn't hold up the swing. In the air to center, and easy play for Brent Doyle. Now Bo Bichette hitting 205, one homer, five driven in in the early going. Grounded up the middle, and that's through. A base hit for Bichette. Two out knock for Bo Bichette. Here comes Justin Turner. Bo Bichette takes off on the first pitch to Justin Turner. It runs inside, no throw down to second. Bichette swipes the bag without a throw. They just caught the Rockies sleeping there. And there's ball four. Wanted to stay away from Turner. He walks him. And it'll be first and second two down now for Kevin Biggio. And this one is into right center for a base hit. The shed around third. He'll score easily. Turner comes around to third. It's an RBI single for Biggio and an early one to nothing lead. Kevin's in a good spot. Swinging with a lot of confidence right now. Bo got a base hit at a stolen base. and comes around third to score easily. And have had a run in the first inning. Strikeout will end the inning. Couple of strikeouts, but Toronto scores first. One nothing after one. Leas Diaz batting cleanup again. He'll lead things off. Next pitch is a ground ball. Base hit to right field. Right between first and second. Good swing for Diaz. Lead off man aboard for the Rockies. Swing and a miss. After going inside, went back outside with the splitter. Second strikeout of the day for Gosman. One down. One two pitch and a ground ball base hit to right field. First and second and one down. I'm sure there's a little smile on the Rockies hitting coach's face. Hey, down two strikes against a guy like this. A little shorter swing might be the way to go. Now Brendan Rodgers. And that ball lined to deep right, and it's going to get down. It's going to tie up the game at least. Diaz will score. Montero will get a stop sign. RBI double for Brendan Rodgers. And that ball was well struck. All three hits this inning from the, uh, the Rocks are on fastball. This one's elevated. Double in the gap. Tie up the ball game. Bounce to first. Guerrero, they got the runner hung up between third and home. Vladdy's going to run out, but the end result is going to be two Rockies near third. They will put the tag on Montero to get him. When a pitcher goes to the mound, he's on a little bit of a surveying expedition himself, and he's trying to figure out where his fastball is right now. Got him, got him to chase that splitter. Second strikeout of the inning for Gosman. But the Rockies tie it up. One run on three hits, middle of two. Here's Dalton Varshow, the left fielder. And he gets a hold of one, hits it to right field. Did he get enough of it? He sure did. First home run of the season for Dalton Varshow, and it's 2 1 Blue Jays. That ball was right down the middle. Varsho didn't waste any time, gets right on it, ambushes Feltner. A skyscraping 370 foot blast. What a nice swing from Dalton Varsho. 2 1 Blue Jays, top of the third inning. Ezekiel Tovar will lead off. That ball is scorched over the head of a leaping Biggio, and Tovar just keeps on raking. The Rockies' four hits all have come from right handed hitters all to right field. Here's a lefty in Ryan McMahon. There goes Tovar to second. The pitch is outside throw. The second is not in time. And Ezekiel Tovar got a good jump on that one. Has himself a stolen base, number two this year. He 
through it there, and it's pulled through the right side. Another base hit for McMahon. This is going to tie it up. Mack long striding towards second is in with a stand-up double. 2-2 two -two ball game. How about that piece of hitting? He gets that split that's way down, but what does he do? Let's it travel, doesn't try and do too much, slows that swing down, and just takes the hit he's given. One down for the Rockies here in the top of the third. Elias Diaz to the plate. This ball scorched to center field. McMahon kind of turned back to make sure it got past Bichette. He's coming home and he's going to score. Boy, that was pretty daring base running by McMahon. So Diaz on the throw home gets to second. So man in scoring position with the Rockies up 3-2. And Nolan Jones at the plate. This ball's well hit to right. This is going to get down. The Rockies are going to take a 4-2 lead. A Nolan Jones double brings home Elias Diaz. Yeah, that had to feel really good for Nolan Jones. Getting the head out on a fastball. That one's elevated, letter high. Gets a stake. And the Rockies continue to make good contact against Gosman. Rockies score three, though, on four hits and take a 4-2 lead. Top of the fourth inning. Devin Gosman has given up four runs on seven hits. Brenton Doyle is up, batting from the right side. This is a broken bat looper that's going to drop for Doyle. So Brent Doyle's speed with one out is aboard for the Rockies. Two down as here's Ryan McMahon. This is a broken bat single for Mack. Doyle will stop at second. Mack's got a couple of hits. Two outs and that'll allow Chris Bryant to hit here. Uh, and this is a hard decision for a manager. You want your starter to really get into a groove and try to get things sorted out. But there's another pitch just kind of tumbled up there and didn't have that late bite that his spitter normally has. And this ball's well hit left center field by Bryant. Kiermaier's not going to get there. Off the wall, one run is scored. McMahon around third. He's coming home. He'll score standing up. Two run double, Chris Bryant. And the Rockies lead it 6-2. to two. And that had to feel extremely, extremely good for Chris Bryant. What a big swing of the bat on this misplaced slider. And Chris Bryant extends the Rockies' lead to four. And that's probably made the decision for John Snyder. And there he's calling for the right-hander, Espino. Three and two-thirds, six runs allowed for Kevin Gosman and I. Still trying to ramp up and get back to where he has been so consistently for the Blue Jays over the last couple of years. Top five, and the Rockies up Six to two. Paolo Espino got the last out of the fourth, and we'll face Nolan Jones here in the fifth. No. Oh, oh boy! Goodness. Take a good look. You won't see this for long. That got out in a hurry. First of the year for Nolan Jones. Seven two Colorado. 112 off the bat. That is a in honor of Masters weekend. A Jack Nicholas one iron. Getting an elevated fastball from Espino and just absolutely dropping the barrel on it. Good to see from Nolan. The guys are starting to have some fun down there. Seven to two. The Rockies up on the Blue Jays. Going to the sixth inning. Ezekiel Tovar will lead off. This ball well hit to left and deep, and that is number three for Tovar. Make it 8-2 to two Colorado on an 0-2 pitch, no less. It's his first home run on an 0-2 pitch in his young career. Hung curveball. Love seeing Tovar stay back on that. 102 miles per hour off the bat. And I love seeing the Rockies offense not letting their foot off the gas right now. Top of the seventh inning here at Rogers Center. Lowry's Montero will lead off. You know, line this one down the left field line. That's a fair ball in the corner. Rip that thing down the left field line. He's got extra bases. He'll get to second base. Slide. Almost slid off the bag, but he is safe. Brenton Doyle about to hit. First and second, one out. Here's a pitch to Doyle, and he pulls that. Fair down the left field side. That'll score Rodgers. Tolly is being held up at third into second base. Brenton Doyle with an RBI double. Nine to two Rockies. Two hit night for Brenton. And the Rockies a season high in hits tonight and they've equaled their season high in runs and John Schneider says I can't go on anymore and he's going to make a pitching change. He'll bring in the left hander Henesis Cabrera. Here he is Ezekiel Tobar. Chance to do more damage for Tobar. High fly ball to deep left. Tolia will tag. Varsho underneath the baseball. Here comes a throw to the plate. It's on line. Safe. Underneath the tag is Tolia, and the Rockies have hit double digits. 
Ninth inning, Rockies are up 10 to 2. Brendan Rodgers has been on base three times. Brendan Rodgers against Mitch White, and Rodgers leans on this one to deep center field, way back. The leap at the wall, off the very top of the wall, kicks away from Kiermeyer, and Brendan Rodgers is going to have an easy triple. You don't see it very often because that guy is a specialist at taking homers away. He missed time this jump just a little early on the jump, but he was tracking it for B-Rod. He gets a slider middle middle and just hammers it. As Jake drives this to center field, Kiermaier is going to catch it. Tagging is Rogers. Kiermaier uncorks a throw that's offline and late, and the Rockies add on on the sacrifice fly by Jake Cave. It's 11 to two. So two down, here's Ryan McMahon. McMahon slices this to left, and it is fair. Fourth hit of the night for McMahon. He's going to get another RBI as Doyle will score from first. A three-double night for Ryan McMahon. 12-2 Colorado. And Mack just keeps on raking. Fastball down and away. Just goes with it, drops the head on it. That's the 20th hit of the game for the Rockies. It's the first time they've had 20 hits in a road game since June the 5th, 2013 at Cincinnati. They have scored in seven of the nine innings. Tyler Kinley's going to pitch this ninth inning. First hitter to see Kinley is Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Swing and a high drive to left center field. Jones going back. He's at the track. That ball is gone. First Blue Jays home run for Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And the Blue Jays are on the board for the first time since the second. It's 12 3 on the IKF solo shot. IKF is seeing the ball really, really well right now. And every once in a while, he'll get a middle, middle fastball, and he will do that. Davis Schneider getting it at bat. The 2 2 to Schneider. Pops it down the right field line, and nobody's going to get it. And Schneider's got himself a blue double. That one will get away from the catcher. Schneider's on his way to third. The throw gets away. And Schneider's on his way home. So that'll be a wild pitch and a throwing error on the catcher Diaz to score the fourth run of the night for the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays down to their final out. Ernie Clement is going to get an at bat. And swings at the first pitch. Center field. Brent Doyle and the Rockies have their first ever victory in Toronto in convincing fashion no less 12 to 4 and the winning pitcher Ryan Feltner becomes the first starting pitcher to produce a W this year the Rockies with a 20 hit attack 11 extra base hits and the Rockies in the process beat the hometown kid Kevin Gosman tonight.